I'm John Byrne with Parts and Quants. Welcome to your Ultimate MBA Game Plan, sponsored by Fortuna Admissions. We are carrying you through every single step of the application process to a highly selected business school. Today, we're going to talk about admission essays. You know, when you're staring at the screen and you're facing that blank white space and wondering what to write, well, we're going to help you with that right now. And we have with us Melissa Jolson from Fortuna. Melissa was the Director of Communications at NCOD, where she worked closely with the admissions staff, as well as with counterparts at peer schools, both in the U.S. and Europe. She's now coach at Fortuna Admissions, the dream team of former admission directors at some of the world's great business schools. Well, hi, Melissa. Hi, John. What was it like to work with the admissions team at NCIAD? It was amazing. The NCIAD brand is all about its flagship program, the MBA, and its students. So yes, I worked really closely with the admissions team. Now I work with candidates and I help them to develop their stories so that they can adapt them to the NCIAD fit. Now, we know a lot of people uh, worry about those essays that they have to write uh, to apply to an elite business school. What are your essential strategies for crafting you know, compelling essays that make a difference? Well, there are three main strategies, John. The first thing is laser focus on the question. The second thing is get personal and storytell. Mm. And the third thing is edit, edit, and then edit some more. <laughs> Let's go back to that first point, uh, the laser focus on the question itself. I'm assuming you say that because there are far too many candidates, for whatever reason, who don't actually address the direct question. Well, it's easy to do because I think what happens is a candidate starts to write their essay, they start to storytell, and the story takes them off on another tangent, and they've completely lost track of what the question is. So what I advise candidates to do is to start off with do an outline of your key messages, because if you do that before you start writing, it'll help you keep on track. The other thing that I'd say is that schools are looking to see a couple of few qualities like leadership potential, uh, what your academic you know, uh, skills are, and what your values are. You know, does it fit with the school? But each school has a different way of trying to figure that out. Mm. And what I've seen is that often candidates, you know, they finish one application and then they think, okay, I'm gonna repurpose everything for the next school. And that, that just really doesn't, doesn't work very well. It's kind of a recipe for failure. So you really need to approach each application uh, you know, with a fresh start, obviously leveraging some of the groundwork you've done for the, the other application. Now let's go to your second point, which makes me think you need to be somewhat vulnerable and incredibly candid. Oh, absolutely. Even if the questions are different for the schools, there's one thing about those essays. They all want to know who you really are. And so it requires a lot of introspection. You know, what is it that makes you tick? What are you passionate about and why? And what are the key messages you want to tell? And what are the stories? What are the, the reasons that you made certain choices in your career and in your life? What inspired you? And for some people, that's difficult. Yes. And that's why, you know, that's what we do. We work with, with our candidates to help them tell those stories. You know, it doesn't happen overnight. A lot of candidates think that, you know, they don't have anything really interesting to tell. And then you drill down with them and they have lots of things to tell. And your third essential strategy, let's amplify that one. Here's the secret. The best writers have the best editors. So true. You really need somebody with an outside perspective who can come in and help you out. And, and keep in mind that the editing process will take you way longer than you ever imagined. That's really the area where you want to make an investment because it's just too hard to do on your own. Now, since you were at NCOD, I wonder what your take is on why NCOD uh, requires so many essays. I believe more essays than any other business school in the world. So, John, you know, they have people applying from all over the world, probably one of the most diverse programs there is. It gives people an opportunity to tell their stories and to get comfortable telling those stories. The other point is that INSEAD, because it's a one-year program, mm. uh, their applicants are usually a little bit older, so they have more to tell. Now, are there any final words of advice about tackling the essays? I think that the optional essay is often sort of passed over because you get to the end of the application, uh, you're so happy, you know, you're done. 
And then there's this lingering, should I answer the optional essay or not? And I think it's often a missed opportunity because, well, you know, either maybe you, you had some issues in your academic career that you can explain, or, you know, maybe you're, for your dream school, you may not have had the opportunity to express that it is your dream school and why. And so I think that I, I encourage people to really think seriously about, about using that question to your, you know, to your advantage. Great. Let's recap your three essential strategies. Number one, be laser focused on the question. Two, get personal and tell stories. And three, edit, edit, edit. Edit, edit. <laughs> okay, Melissa, how can candidates reach you? On our website for a free consultation, fortunaadmissions.com. All right, there you go. So all you have to do is go to Fortuna Admissions website and you will find Melissa and all the other great uh, consultants on the staff there. Well, Melissa, thank you so much for all that great advice. Thank you, John. Thank you for having me. All right. You've been watching three essential strategies for your admission essays. Uh, this is part of your Ultimate MBA Game Plan series sponsored by Fortuna Admissions. Keep tuning in for the rest of the episodes. This is John Byrne with Poets and Quants. Thanks for watching. <laughs>